What's good YouTube, it's Asian Fina. I'm back with another super exclusive battle video. Today we have Mighty Marvel Comics Ghost Rider issue number 15, Glow in the Dark issue versus Delightful DC Comics The Spectre number 1, also Glow in the Dark issue. Ghost Rider came out in January 1996 and The Spectre came out December 1992. Now I remember back in the 90s, I was growing up as a teenager, I was collecting comics, playing video games, I was doing it all. I was collecting Dark Horse comics, Marvel comics, DC comics, Image comics, if you guys recall that, the spawn came from Image. Now Marvel comics is known for exciting plot and action and also great art. DC Comics is more known for its established, more adult themed storyline. But regardless, both are very respected companies. Don't worry, guys, these are in poly bags, so I'm not sticking them to it, my fish tank just like that. I protect my comics. Now, do you guys realize that Marvel Comics was founded way back in 1939, and DC Comics was founded even earlier, back in 1934? We're talking about before World War II. Now, that's history. Do you also realize that Marvel and DC Comics shared 80% of the American comic book market back in 2008? We're talking about 80%. That's the majority market right there. Better yet, let me just take it out of this poly bag so you guys can admire the artwork. Here we go, both extra comics out of this poly bag. Let's take a close-up look at the Ghost Rider from Marvel Comics. Note the price dollar seventy five. Issue number fifteen. Now let's take a close up look at the DC Comics, the Spectre. The, he is a lesser known superhero. So you guys have to Google for his powers and history. You know what? I'm just gonna show you guys the first page and get also give credit to the artist and writer. There we go. From Marvel Comics, Ghost Rider and the Spectre. Now as we all know, Marvel Comics have exciting movies, Spider-Man, Hulk, Avengers, Thor, Fantastic Four, and even some lesser known such as Daredevil, Punisher, and <laughs> unfortunately they messed up on Ghost Rider. <laughs> Please stop making any Ghost Rider because it's really bad. And I don't really expect the Spectre to be <laughs> In movie theaters anytime soon, but DC Comics, very good on the Batman Dark Knight. I actually liked a lot of Superman's The Man of Steel. So I also liked Green Lantern. It wasn't bad in my opinion, but I'm expecting more movies to come out from DC. Let's keep this light focused and shining on both comics for about two minutes. It's after two minutes. Let's go to my restroom where I have the comics. And let's turn off the lights. You guys ready? Here we go. Let me close the door. Ah, it's not gonna work because the iPhone 4's video capture quality is horrible when it comes to dark light. I couldn't pick up any type of brightness. But regardless, Trust me when I say the Spectra's artwork is way better. Look at how detailed it is. All the bones and everything. It even shows the Spectra's superhero as opposed to it's just the flames on the skull from Ghost Rider. Even though DC Comics the Spectra wins the comic book Glow in the Dark Battle, I think Marvel makes it for it. And there are many awesome superhero movies. Now let me show you guys other gimmick covers that came out in the 1990s, such as the Punisher Warzone issue number one, 
This is the die cut cover. And also Marvel Comics the Incredible Hulk holographic cover, issue number 400. Also, from Marvel Comics, Spider-Man 2099, issue number 1, with the metallic cover. I've watched all superhero movies that came out from both companies, and I'm expecting a lot more to come. Now, if they can only remake the Spawn again. Hmm.